By the time Ugandans ushered in 2020, the news of an outbreak of COVID-19 already turning into a global pandemic was all over the world. When countries on the African continent and those neighboring Uganda started declaring cases of COVID-19, apprehension started finding its way through the population. Yeah, I started to see, of course, nearby countries here in Africa, they started to be locked down. And uh, of course I started to get intimidated that maybe we shall be also uh, be locked down. The situation slowly started unraveling when the Ministry of Health first announced measures to combat the pandemic in Uganda. Additionally, public transport and places of congregation were closed down. And then on 31st March 2020, most people's worst fear became a reality, announcing on all media platforms President Jerry Museveni declared a 14-day countrywide lockdown. Measure one is to prohibit all people to people movement by everybody, including those using their private vehicles, border borders, Tukutukus ETC. Why? Two reasons. Number one, some private car owners have turned their cars into taxis. Everyone was scared, eh? and even the clients, they knew because it was general. So everyone was ready to sit and wait. <laughs> To many Ugandans, this lockdown caught them unaware and they had to scramble to make ends meet amid a new and harsh environment full of restrictions that they were not used to. And we used to work. Uh, when someone calls that you come and work for me from home and uh, you have to work, we had to work. We walk a distance, even from here up to Ntinda. After a while, I, I joined onion business. Of course, I was uh, purchasing some onions and tried to distribute them around uh, on those people that can sell them on retail. So As the 14 days extended into months, the situation became harder for the population. At times, I could go there at the nearby market and purchase, purchase them. Sometimes I could go as far as to Mbali. Uh, by then money became, became less because we could only make money to survive. Because someone can't give you his or her luggage when he doesn't know you. We must worry to the car, the media, the police, the media. In August 2020, government briefly lifted the lockdown to allow some vital sectors to operate fully again, more especially the education sector. But a sudden spike in infections led to a second wave of COVID-19, forcing the country back into a total lockdown from 6 June. 2021. Whereas the economy was fully reopened in January this year, Ugandans say that a lot of lessons were learned from this period of the lockdown. That thing called saving. Yeah, as per now, I know that you have to save for the future. We learn to save and even to plan for a future and always to know that whenever you have a chance, you utilize it because it can at any time night from you. For majority of Ugandans, the most vital task now is how to get their disrupted lives by COVID-19 back on track. Joyce Nagato, NTV Tonight.